Kia ora vatos, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video infamous coming at you live from the west coast. We're going to do a quick unboxing. This is the Dino Jet Pro Series. Of course, if you have a Harley, depending on the year you have, typically you're going to need a six pin. So if you have a Dyna Sportster, depending on the year, of course, it's a six pin uh, tune or, or it's a six pin, uh, six pin connector. So this is the six pin connector. This is for... Uh, I believe I'm not gonna be 100% sure you guys gonna have to check your models, but it's 2020 down to I believe 2007 I think 2007 2007 to 2020 because they did change them for 2021 and up and then they're a different uh, Four pin connector Anyways, just you know, just look into it. All right, make sure you guys get the right one But here we have the power vision That's gonna be that's gonna be pretty neat. I don't have to hook it. I, I don't have to hook this up to the computer or uh, my or a laptop I could all I you could do all your tuning on this little device right here so you could do all of that right here and let's go ahead and see what else is in here of course that's the power vision and then uh, we have the connectors right here you have some zip ties I guess you leave this on or you could actually you know tune it and then remove it what is this USB mini USB. I don't know what this is I'm Not sure. Uh, oh, yeah, well you have instructions here, but you have a of course you have the cable If you have a Harley-Davidson and you're using the OEM tuner you have to buy this separately So this is 30 bucks to connect it to your OEM tuner. So if you're going OEM or you're going uh, Warranty wise you have to buy this separate so you buy the tuner you have to buy the cable All right, just to make that clear because a lot of people don't know that and you have some mounting hardware I'm not sure what this is for probably for the back of uh, yeah it's for this and you have some uh, zip ties hardware I don't know what this is for six maybe this is for your uh, for your laptop if you decide to connect it to your laptop you can do that but I'm going to be using all the mapping on this device and of course this goes right here I'm not going to connect that right now because I'm going to try to see where I'm going to mount this. Maybe I'll just tune it for right now because I am switching my handlebars. So, yeah, we do that. I mean, that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. We are going to go ahead and go over here to the battery side. Which I already did. I removed the, uh, the battery side cover, as you can see. And if you're wondering, where is it at? Uh, one little thing to note, your ECU, ECM is right over here. So depending on the model, this might be here. Or on most models, it's, you know, 07 and up, it's right underneath the seat. So that's where that's at. But you're looking for this connector right here. This is your, your little device that you have to hook up. So let's go ahead and remove this little boot. And then you can connect this right in here. And that's pretty much it and then you just connect your power vision which I left over there you connect that and you can actually leave this on there I'm gonna try to see where I can mount this I don't know I think I'm gonna have to mount it on the hardware but I mean on the on the handlebars so let's go ahead and uh, get this undone and maybe I'll route it towards uh, towards the handlebars but uh, if you want, you can just go ahead and put your battery cover back in. Like so. Make sure you don't pinch any wires. Put everything back in its place. Like that. I don't know if you guys can see. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's... Make sure that snaps in there. Nothing's being pinched. And then route this cable back towards the front of the bike let's see if we can clean this up a little bit let's see because there's a little space right here so let's go ahead and remove that that's really tight maybe we could slide this forward and then slide it oh here we go that that's a little bit loose and you can use the zip ties right here and then route it up there yeah so let's just use one of the zip ties that way we could uh prevent our wire from touching the uh 
the engine. Alright, so let's go ahead and mount the power bridge. If you guys are wondering what am I mounting this with, I've already featured this item on the channel. This is something that you could get for about from here to here. You could get this for about I say 14 bucks. I'll leave a link, and of course, this is another RAM mount uh, piece. You could buy their own product. I'm not sure how much it costs, but overall, I think this is about I think this is 10 bucks. I'll leave all the all the uh, Amazon links at, in the video description. But yeah, that goes as you can see that goes right there, and it fits perfectly. So let's go ahead and uh, mount this this uh, mount this RAM mount. I like RAM <laughs> RAM mounts. I use everything. All other products so we're going to go ahead and mount that up as you can see that lines up perfectly uh, we're going to mount this up and then we're going to use of course loctite we loctite everything on a harley because of the shake they shake a lot so let's go ahead and get all this stuff together all right went ahead and installed the ram mount base plate but these bolts are they're really short so the, I mean, it's, they're so short that the washers uh, they don't even fit in there. So uh, probably get maybe a quarter inch longer bolts. Uh, you know, pick that up at your hardware store, maybe Home Depot. Take one of them, see which thread it is, and then uh, go ahead and you know make sure that that's in there. But as of right now, it's working. I just want to get this turned on. I want to hear what this thing sounds like. So we're gonna go ahead and proceed with the installation. So in case you're wondering, make sure you put the uh, this mount on the outside. This will hit your tank if you put it on the inside. So just, you know, be aware of that. Put that out here. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then of course you could, you know, you could adjust this. This is a ram mount, so it doesn't matter how it goes. So I'm just gonna leave it as is for right now. Like I said, I'm gonna relocate this. So let's go ahead and bring up our wire and let's try to you know make it look halfway decent. So let's let's just route it through where you have your other wires, just to kind of get it to blend in, and then we'll we'll loop it all up and together once we get to where we have to put this in. So let's go ahead and connect this cable on the inside. Line up the plastic, of course. Here we go. Alright, so that's in there. We lined up the plastic. I'm guessing this is where the USB goes. And that's, I guess, to kind of hook it up to your... Alright, so that's that. So that's the installation. And of course, we are going to go ahead and use uh, some of this... Uh, some of the zip ties they, pro they provided. I'm going to zip tie it right here. And then I'll... I'll route this somewhere around here and then zip tie it. Zip tie it right around this area right here. And I'll, I'll, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for tuning in. That's the install unboxing of the DinoJet, uh, DinoJet Power Vision. You guys want to see the tuning process? I'll, you know, that's a separate video. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for liking the video. Uh, you guys just stay out there, stay safe. Don't believe everything you read. Life's a risk. Get out there and ride. Later.